Hello and welcome to Salad Leisure. Today we are looking at the Swift Command Control Panel and we'll be uh, talking through all the different features that it has. First of all, we'll have a, just have a look at the buttons and just go through the basics of what you need to get your vehicle lit up and running. The main one, you can see at the bottom right corner of the control panel, is your on off button or your power master switch for your 12 volts. And just above that is the buttons to scroll through the menu. Bottom left, that's your pump switch. Next switch up is for the main lights. The next one up is to switch on your dimmer lights. And the top one, that is your awning light. Showing you on the panel, you can see the panel is just having a bit of a sleep at the moment. Put my hand across it, it senses that something there and will light up. See at the bottom it's saying a Sergeant EC620, obviously that's your type of panel we've got. If you can see on the left hand side a small F on the bottom left, that is to show when there's uh, water in the tank you will see little square blocks up that side showing the level. If you have a motrome on the right hand side it will show in the waste tank level. The big letter, uh, big, big numbers in the centre showing 14.2 volts, that's your leisure battery on charge. I'll give it a quick wave again, there we go, it lights it up. Going across the top line, on the top left you see a uh, battery with L in it. That, that denotes the leisure battery is connected. If it says V, obviously you are, you are sitting in a motorhome, and that will show you it's connected to the vehicle battery, so your 12 volts will be enough your vehicle battery. Next to that is a little flash of lightning. Well, that's just to say your 12 volts, or 240 volts I should say, is connected. And next to that is your time. If you want to look any further into uh, the further menu, I just uh, again light it up. Uh, you can change that if you uh, have a look in the settings. So your menu button, you can scroll, you see across the bottom of the screen is then changing to different areas you may want to look at, which we'll go into it further in further sections later on. So just to recap, if you want to, obviously when you get into your van to start using it, switch the 12 volt systems power on, you may want to switch your water pump on, your lights, so if you, this is your main light, so if you can switch them on individually, but if you don't switch them on here, they won't switch on. Same with your dimmer lights, so you can dim your lights up and down, but that is the master switch to switch your dimmer lights on, but they are individually switched as well. And as I said, the last one there is your only light.